new AMD Ryzen CPUs and NVIDIA GPUs. Ah! Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So both AMD and NVIDIA just had their 2021 CES livestream event, and during both the events, they actually had quite a few new exciting products to show off to us consumers. Now starting off with AMD, first looking at the new Ryzen processors that they introduced. They were both mobile processors, so no new desktop stuff, unfortunately, at least in terms of the Ryzen processors. And first taking a look at the Ryzen 9 High Performance 5900HX, it looks like this is going to be their highest performance mobile processor, and it does look to be beating absolutely everything that Intel has in the market right now so that looks very good and then they also introduced an ultra portable Ryzen 5800U and that 5800U does seem to also be beating absolutely everything that Intel has at least in the benchmarks that they showed now of course we're gonna have to wait and see till actual reviewers get their hands on you know identical laptops because the thing with laptops is you know AMD could go up there with a laptop that has better cooling and then you know go against Intel with a more portable lighter version and so we aren't gonna really have a one-to-one -one comparison comparison until people like Hardware and Box get their hands on identical laptops and actually compare the two. So, but you know, either way, what they did show on stage looked very impressive. And then finally, they had one more thing to show off, and that was the new third gen Epic Milan processors. So yeah, it looks like we're finally getting some new Epic processors here, and that does look very exciting. They look extremely fast, and the, again, the benchmarks that they showed for these, it was absolutely destroying Intel's processor. But you know, unfortunately, this is not for the desktop once again. It's not like a regular desktop CPU. And, you know, another thing that was pretty unfortunate is there were some rumors going around that they would supposedly be showing off the Radeon RX 6700. Looks like that didn't happen. And, you know, that was a big shame because, you know, moving on to NVIDIA, they did actually show off some new GPUs. So this is really exciting here. First, starting off, we have the, of course, the mobile stuff that they showed off, the RTX 3080M, and it came in a 8 and 16 gigabyte variant. So it looks like that 16 gigabyte RTX 3080 did exist, and it was a mobile processor. Uh, it does look like it's going to be based off of the GA104 die. So you're not looking at the full shader count that you're going to get on the RTX 3080. And on top of that, it's definitely going to be clocked quite a bit lower. So you're not going to get nearly the same performance. But, you know, either way, this should give you very, very high performance on the desktop. My guess is you'll get probably somewhere around 3060 Ti levels of performance. If you have a very beefy laptop, you might even get, you know, closer to RTX 3070 levels of performance. So that is very good for those mobile users there. And the prices that they were showing on these mobile laptops did look very good and of course they also did show an RTX 3070 mobile GPU and an RTX 3060 mobile GPU and the thing that I found very impressive about the RTX 3060 mobile GPU is that supposedly you can find it in laptops that start at $999. Now we'll have to wait and see when these laptops come out if they do actually end up honoring those prices. I know a lot of manufacturers are going to probably be putting in a little bit of extra stuff into those laptops and charging quite a bit more so you could end up in a situation where much like the GPUs yeah it says an MSR of of $999 for the cheapest one you can get, but in reality you end up spending like $1,300, $1,400, even $1,500 on a laptop with an RTX 3060, which is considerably more, but hey, if you can snag one for $999, I know a lot of people aren't really all that interested in laptop gaming, but hey, that's quite the deal to get a 3060 and a good laptop with a really nice displays, because they did talk about the displays on their new upcoming laptops, and a lot of them looked very, very impressive, and one more thing I want to mention before I move on to the desktop stuff here is that they did show finally finally we are getting 1440p displays on these laptops and that is the absolute perfect resolution for say an 18 inch type of screen uh it's even is going to look even better on a smaller screen so if you get on a 14 inch screen i think it just looks absolutely incredible i think that 4k is a little bit too far i think that 1080p while it does look good on an 18 inch screen when you move to 1440p on that level of a screen it looks very very crisp it looks very pixel dense much like you would see a 4k display on a 27 inch monitor they both look very very pixel dense but in any case enough about that mobile stuff i know that's very interesting but a lot of you are here just to hear about desktop so let's go ahead and talk about that so there was one gpu that nvidia did release during this event that was the rtx 3060 12 gigabyte and much like i hinted at last week it did end up coming in at a price of 330 dollars now of course this gpu is going to have 12 gigabytes of gddr6 which is very impressive for that level of uh, gpu you know it's kind of bizarre in fact because you look at the rtx 30 
3060 Ti, and that's only got 8 gigabytes. 3070 only has 8 gigabytes, and even the 3080 only has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. So that does, you know, it's a little bit confusing, but, you know, the reason why they do that is because it's going to be on a 192-bit bus for the memory configuration. And when you're using a 192-bit bus, if you're using 8 gigabit uh, GDDR6, which is pretty much all they sell is 8 and 16 gigabit, I believe, right now, uh, well, then your option is 6 gigabytes or you go to 12 gigabytes. So, hey, I'd much rather have 12 gigabytes than 6 gigabytes. So I'm glad that NVIDIA did that. But we could be seeing a 6 gigabyte variant sometime in the future or even a 6 gigabyte variant on the RTX 3050 Ti. But there's one thing that's bothering me about this RTX 3060, and that's the price. You know, while it's all well and good that we do have a massive 12 gigabytes on this GPU and that's going to make it last a long time, asking $330 for a 60 class GPU is absolutely outrageous guys i cannot believe that we're at a point where 330 dollars is what they're asking for a 60 class gpu so <laughs> in the past we were able to get gpus that are 60 class for far far less but you know to compare this to say the gtx 960 that gpu came in at a price of 200 dollars so now we have moved up you know a qu significant amount here i mean we're talking about moving up from 200 dollars to uh, 330 dollars which is actually a 65 percent increase in price that is absolutely ludicrous considering that the gtx 960 only came out in 2015 i mean we're not talking about a gpu that came out in 19 you know 90 this isn't like inflation's gotten that bad in fact if we go ahead and we open up the inflation calculator and we take a gpu that was 200 dollars back in 2015 well it would come to a price of roughly 218 dollars today so you know i could maybe see nvidia trying to charge 250 dollars for this gpu i understand that things have gotten more costly i understand that there's terrible tariffs going on now and things are just a little bit crazy. I could even understand them maybe pushing up to like, you know, $280. But you know, for me, the cutoff was $300 before it gets absolutely ridiculous. $300 is already way too much. $330 is, you guys, you are pushing this way too far. We've gotten to a point here where we're buying the exact same GPUs for 65% more money, which is just absolutely unacceptable. I cannot believe we've gotten to this point in the GPU market. I mean, you take a look at stuff like the RTX 3090, that's $1,500. You used to be able to get the highest end GPU using the same 102 die for say, you know, $700 or $650. So things have moved up uh, an absolutely extreme amount. And I know people don't care about that as much when it happens on like a 90 class GPU. But as you can see, things have started to trickle down. So as you spend money on $1,000 GPUs, $1,200 GPUs, and now $1,500 GPUs, it doesn't just affect the high end. It does trickle down and you end up with 60 class GPUs that used to be somewhat of an entry level GPU that was actually affordable at $200, now costing $330. That's, you you know, close to the same price as you say the GTX 970. In fact, I'm pretty sure the GTX 970 only came in at a price of $330, or at least that's what he's showing when I was looking it up online. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but you know, if that is true, it looks like now you're paying the same amount of money that you used to pay for a 70 class GPU, and now you're only getting a 60 class GPU for the same price. And I'm not impressed. Uh, I don't accept the fact that we get ray tracing and a little extra VRAM now as a reason to charge that much more money. I understand things have gotten more expensive, but come on, I do expect things to actually get more technologically impressive and actually stay the same price. I don't expect them to be just going way up in price, way, way beyond the amount of inflation that's going on. So yeah, um, I, I don't think this is acceptable. I hope that AMD has something to um, counter this at a better price. I, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to come in at a high price as well. But, you know, either way, I guess when you do compare it to what's out on the market right now, it's definitely going to be an impressive GPU. It's going to last a long time. Uh, again, the 12 gigabytes is definitely awesome. But man, oh man, are they charging a lot for that 60 class GPU? And that makes me a little bit scared for what we're going to see in the 50 Ti. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 3060? Do you think that it's priced too high? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.